The former Republican president arrives in one of the bluest of blue cities this evening. It's a visit that's generating a lot of attention from supporters and critics. ABC 7 News reporter Gloria Rodriguez joins us live from near the side of the fundraiser in Pacific Heights. Good morning, Gloria. Good morning. Yeah, it's still many hours before the former president is expected to be here, but they've already started clearing the streets. We've seen cars being towed that were parked on the side of the street. A lot of media is already here as this neighborhood prepares for former President Donald Trump. Barricades are on standby and no parking signs are up in San Francisco's Pacific Heights neighborhood ahead of a visit by former President Donald Trump. It comes a week after Trump was found guilty of 34 counts in the hush money case. The political news outlet Puck News obtained an invitation to Trump's fundraiser here. According to the invitation, tech billionaire David Sachs and his wife are hosting the event with venture capitalist Jamath Palihapitiya. But one neighbor wants to send Trump a message. They love America and they love reproductive rights and Trump stands against all of that. And so the fact that this man is in our community um, and raising money here, I don't want people to think that we support that. I want him to know that he's not welcome here. The organizers behind this anti-Trump chicken inflatable are planning to set sail with it from Fisherman's Wharf and head towards the Marina Green. That's where a group of Trump supporters are organizing a rally to welcome him to the Bay. This is a rally being just a group of us, men and women, citizens, we the people, who wanted to greet Trump, Donald Trump, coming to San Francisco and let him know our love is there and our support is there. And that neighbor that you heard from is planning an anti-Trump rally here later on. He says they are expecting about 50 people at this time, but they are expecting that number to grow. Live in San Francisco, Gloria Rodriguez, ABC 7 News.